Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my self-care habits, which I implement into my self-care routine every single week. What inspired me to make this video was really the fact that a couple of weeks ago, I was having just a couple days where I was feeling really down and I realized that one of the best things that helps me feel better is self-care. And I think it's so important to have self-care activities and self-care tools that you can revert to when you're not feeling feeling the best or just like incorporating them into your routine every single week to make sure that you're always staying feeling your best. I believe self-care doesn't have to be a big thing. It can be a 10 minute activity or just being more intentional about what you're doing with your time and how you're taking care of yourself. But I truly believe it's the one thing that can really make the biggest difference because when you're taking care of yourself, you ultimately feel like a better person. And when you feel like a better person, you can show up as a better person for your friends, for your family, for yourself, basically for everyone around you because when you feel good it showcases into so many aspects of your life. So if you want to listen to some self-care activities to motivate you and inspire you to take better care of yourself, I know today is the first of June coming into a new month, maybe you could set some goals for yourself that are inspired by this video. So get a snack, get comfy and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my weekly self-care routine. If you enjoy this video though make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe all my social medias are always in the description box if you want to keep up with my everyday life every day and let's jump into the video my first self-care habit which I implement into my routine each day to make sure I'm taking care of my physical health is movement. Now movement can look like whatever you find enjoyable. I think there's such a stigma around moving your body that it has to be an intense 45 minute structured workout but that's really not the case. I know to some people that is like their worst nightmare. For me, I personally love Pilates, bar, going for walks, doing yoga. I've danced since I was literally a toddler so having two dance classes a week literally makes the biggest difference to my physical health. I'm about to head off to ballet. I've just done my hair in a bun. I've got ballet and jazz tonight actually. So a bit of a late one but I always love these classes and I think finding movement you enjoy that isn't just typical workouts is so important to keep you inspired and to keep you uplifted because ultimately moving our body is something that we should do our whole entire life. So if you're forcing yourself into a really rigid routine it's not going to be sustained and if it's not enjoyable it also won't motivate you to do it. Ballet and dance have been something that I've been doing my entire life since I was little. I'm no expert and probably not the greatest but it's something that kind of you know is a bit of me time and it's something that I really implement in my self-care routine to make sure that I'm keeping up with because it's a bit of time in the week where I don't have to think about anything else and I don't even feel like I'm having to force myself to do activity especially when you've already booked in a class. You don't have to have that pressure of trying to find time in the week to do, move your body because you know it's already slotted into your week and you've already paid for it so you also have to go. But find a movement which you really love. It could be anything. Anything where it's moving your body. It doesn't have to be strenuous. It can be whatever makes you feel good. Everybody's good at different things and I really believe that physical activity is something that we have to do every single day our whole life just to keep ourselves healthy. So so why make it something that you don't enjoy? Why not find a really, really fun activity which you love? It can also bring you a sense of community. You can go out and meet people by going and joining a club or a sporting team or doing workout classes. You might meet people that have the same interests as you and then that leads into other aspects of your life like your social health and well-being and you can meet more people and gain new connections and find new friends. So comment down below and let me know what some of your favourite ways to move your body are. The next self-care habit which I implement in my routine each week to make sure that I'm staying mentally just good I guess is ensuring that I'm spending time with my family and friends and really scheduling this time in. I know that I am a total introvert and if it were up to me I could easily spend just a week by myself enjoying my own company and I wouldn't even realize how much it was impacting me but when I force myself to really get out and socialize afterwards I always feel so much better especially when it's like my friends because I think talking to other girls my age and just opening up about some of the things I'm going through and what they're going through can feel really just relatable and almost motivates me in a different way that I'm used to. I also find that I'm a part of a really big family so it's really nice sometimes 
sometimes just to spend time with my family because I think that's just so important like at the end of the day we're put on this earth to find enjoyment and feel happy and you know confide in the people that we're around and it's not always about being really productive sometimes it is just about spending a Saturday lounging around at home hanging out with your mum or hanging out with your sister and those are some of like my favorite days I think they really force you to get more creative and open up with the people around you and who knows you may just have a conversation with someone that you wouldn't usually have with ways that you could spend time with your loved ones could always be going out to the movies like going out for an actual activity because I think sometimes when you're doing something while you're hanging out you almost find out new things about each other and you have like a really fun time and then you'll obviously remember that memory for literally forever this could also be with friends as well I know me and my friends we usually go for a walk go shopping go to the movies go out for lunch or dinner and it's just like so fun to do something with them and it feels like such good quality time or if you want to save money and you just want to hang out with someone at home you could always cook a nice home cooked dinner watch a movie on Netflix it's really about those little things maybe instead of driving to your workout class by yourself driving with a friend or driving with a family member having those little moments throughout the week where you're just entirely with the people around you that you love can make the biggest difference to your mental health. My next self-care activity which I try to do each week is making time for a hobby which I enjoy that I don't have to do because I think so often especially in today's society we live off to-do lists, we go to school, we go to work, we work out not because we enjoy it but because we're told that we have to and I think social media causes us to do a lot of things which we don't want to do that we think we have to do. So I truly believe that the most essential part to staying mentally fit and feeling happy is having hobbies which you don't have to do that you enjoy. For me, this looks like how I just bought a couple tennis rackets so me and my friends could start playing tennis on the weekends. I have never played tennis in my life and I'm not part of a club, but we thought why not just grab a couple balls and a couple rackets and just start playing tennis with each other. And I think that's gonna be so fun because when I'm doing it I'm completely in the moment I'm not thinking about anything else and it's really just one of those ways to recharge your battery and this will look different for everybody maybe go on Pinterest and have a look at a couple different hobbies and try some things and if you don't like the first thing that you try out oh well that does not matter at least you tried and I'm sure you'll find your perfect hobby eventually I know I love reading scrapbooking journaling a lot of people love puzzles personally that is not my thing but if that's your thing like you go girl I have friends who play play netball which absolutely love it I mean dance is kind of a hobby and physical activity for me in one my next self-care activity which I try to do each day which I've actually been slacking a bit on lately but that's because I've been very busy okay and I think that's the important thing to remember with all these things is that you have to be kind to yourself and you're not going to be ticking off all these self-care activities each week but these are just ideas so that when you do want to turn to something that will make you feel better you have an idea but the next one is reading a book I I never used to be a big reader but then I feel like I got into it because my sister did because it suddenly got really trendy to read books and I'm loving that I love how it's a trend to read books because I feel like a few years back it was like a nerdy thing to do but I have a big collection of books now and I really think it's the number one thing that I can do and I'm not thinking about anything else like when I'm reading a book I'm so immersed in the world that I'm reading that my brain is not thinking about my own life and I think that can be a really nice escape sometimes I think when getting into reading it's important to remember that everybody's preference is different. I used to think that I hated reading because I was trying to read Harry Potter like all my friends were and then I realized Grace you do not like this and then I found like books that I really loved and I think once you find that niche that you love you'll actually really enjoy reading. Probably my biggest self-care thing of this video which I do to show myself self-love and to make sure that I'm feeling less anxious is not going on my phone in the morning and night. I know you've probably heard this a thousand times. All the videos on YouTube say, don't go on your phone, don't go on your phone. You probably hear it at school, your parents probably tell you. Honestly, it has changed my life. Like the other morning, I went on my phone for the first time in the morning in literally ages and I noticed the whole day I felt so much more anxious. And when you first start stopping going on your phone in the morning or night, it feels so difficult. But now that I've been doing it for basically three years now, it's not even something that I quite question it's not even a habit it's just something I do my next self-care activity is my hygiene routine another thing that I implement into my self-care routine each week is really taking care of my 
my hygiene. By that, I mean like my showering, washing my hair, my skincare, and just taking overall care of my skin and body in that physical way. So I wanted to jump on and share with you guys my hair care routine, which I've been doing, and a bit of my shower routine. Every Tuesday and Friday, I wash my hair typically. Obviously, life happens, and sometimes it's not on that schedule, but like on a weekly basis, that's genuinely what I follow. But let's jump into this hair care routine. Before I have a shower, I will rinse my hair and I will add the Olaplex Hair Perfector into it. I use number three and that is the Repair and Strengthening Serum. If you don't know what Olaplex is, it is a hair product brand. I'm kind of on a hair care journey at the moment to make my hair a lot stronger. So this has been something that I have added in my routine to go along with that goal. I've been using this for a few weeks now and I've honestly noticed the biggest difference in my hair. I've also had a couple people tell me that my hair looks a lot lighter, like I've almost had highlights. So I guess that's a bit of a bonus as well. On the back, it says leave for 10 minutes and then wash out, but I always leave it for a bit longer just to, you know, let it all soak through. And then after I put it through, I will double shampoo and then use conditioner and then blow dry my hair. And it honestly works the best. And that's what I do. I have to blow dry my hair. I literally do not know how people can just let their hair air dry. If I do that, my hair looks a mess. That is my hair care routine. And I'm going to go rinse my hair and put this in now. Olaplex is now in my hair doing its thing. While I wait for it to go and sink in before I wash it out again and have a proper shower, I just get all my stuff ready to have a shower. So I use the Tresemme Care and Protect Against Heat Damage for when I blow dry my hair. I used to never use heat spray and then my sister told me off for it so now I do. And then I just use this Remington hair blow dryer which I got for Christmas. And then I use a comb obviously instead of a brush because it's not good to brush your hair while it's wet. And then I just lay out my pajamas. I think having matching pajamas is just the ultimate self-care thing that you could possibly do for yourself in my opinion. I've had my shower now. My hair honestly feels amazing. I've just put in my skincare headband though because I want to share with you guys my skincare routine. So basically in the morning I always use the Niacinamide Plus Sink Ordinary Serum. And then the other weekend I actually went into Target and I just picked up this Gua Sha. I broke mine a little while ago and I love just having this. Not even for the results but just because it makes me feel like I'm taking a lot of care of myself. I also go in with the Nivea Sunscreen and then I I just go in with the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion in the morning and night. So I'm going to pop this on now. I only put moisturizer on my face at night. I just find simple skincare works best on my skin, but I always wash my face in the shower anyway with the Cetaphil face wash. I also find having one skincare product in the night works so much better with my motivation to do my skincare. And then recently I've started implementing the Sally Hansen Complete Care Nail Treatment as part of my hair and nail routine. And I have a Officially broken the habit of biting my nails, which is literally something that I've struggled with my whole life. And they're all my skincare type products that I use in my self-care hygiene routine. My next self-care activity, which I try to implement into my self-care routine each week is journaling. Journaling is honestly my best tool for stress, anxiety, anything. I know it's not for everybody, but personally for me, it's something that I cannot live without. Journaling is something that I just need. Like, if I'm going through anything in my life, I journal about it. I personally am not the best at talking to people about my feelings or my issues. So journaling is that one thing where I think even when we're talking to someone, we have that underlying subconscious fear that we're going to feel judged. But when we're journaling, because I know that it's never going to be seen, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's really, really rewarding and it gets everything off my chest and I just feel so much more clear. And I find when I haven't journaled in a couple days, I notice the biggest difference in my mental health and well-being. The next part of my self-care routine is getting outside. I am the biggest nature girly. Like, I love being outside. I find that nature is the best way that I can connect with myself. I don't know if that sounds a bit woo-woo. When I have a day where I don't go outside, I notice the impact on my emotions and my feelings. Even if that's just 10 minutes going outside while you're eating your breakfast, or if it's just sitting in the sun while you're having your lunch, it makes the biggest difference. And, and as we've just gone into winter here in Australia, today 
today is the first official day of winter. I've noticed that my mental health, I've had to do a lot more things to keep it good compared to in summer when I'm outside all the time getting so much vitamin D. My favorite ways to spend time in nature is by either walking, going for a jog, laying in the sun. If it's summer where you live, I'm so jealous. Maybe doing a hobby that you love outside, whether that's tennis, scrapbooking, journaling. And my final thing that I do every week in my self-care routine to make sure that I'm feeling my best self is cleaning. This sounds so boring, honestly, but having a tidy environment makes the biggest difference to my mental health. <laughs> So I always have my room spotless, like you'd swear, honestly, I vacuum my room so many times a week. But my main cleaning schedule is every single Sunday, I will just spend a half an hour wiping down my desk, vacuuming my room, changing my sheets, and that 30 minutes each week contributes to just the tidiest room. And my family members will walk in my room and I'll be like, Grace, how's your room so tidy? And I'm like, I literally only spend 30 minutes each week tidying it, but just having that time is so much better than doing nothing or just leaving it until it gets really bad and then having a whole day's worth of cleaning or a whole week's worth of sorting. This could even look like doing 10 minutes of tidying before bed each night to ensure that your space is always just a little bit clean. So that is honestly one of the biggest parts of my self-care routine. Taking care of my space leads on to my mental health. But with that all being said, that is my self-care routine which I do each week to ensure that I'm staying the best version of myself and to ensure that I I'm always feeling my best and obviously there are days where I don't feel my best and these habits don't always happen and that is okay. It's just about being intentional and knowing that you can resort to these habits when you feel you need them. So I really hope this video made you feel a bit more positive or a bit more excited to take care of your mental health and well-being and if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe. Once again all my social medias are always in the link down below if you want to keep up with my everyday life every day and I'll catch you guys in the next video.